A national campaign this month focuses on your pet's health, specifically when it comes to their mouths. Newswatch 16's Ryan Leckie has the story from Lackawanna County. From your feline to other four legged friends, there are all sorts of things you could be doing to take care of your pet's teeth. And we're talking about it as part of National Pet Dental Health Month with the crew from Johnson College and also Dr. Joe Valise from All Pets Dental Care and Oral Surgery in Mount Pocono. All right, let's talk about your veterinary dentist tips when it comes to brushing your cat or your dog's teeth. What should people remember? Yes, do not use people toothpaste, use a veterinary toothpaste and go gradually. Let them get used to the paste, then the brush, and then gradually get into their, their mouths. And uh, this should be done daily, if you can. And two, when people see red gums on their animals, you know, in their animal's mouth, what do you advise? Yes, if there's any redness at all, I, I would advise seeking veterinary attention. And the goal is to have the attention drawn before it becomes a major problem. So as we're looking at this model, this is way too advanced to think this is the time to get the dental care. This is almost beyond the point of salvaging these types of teeth. So we want to get there early. And definitely get to an expert. And finally, even though it's winter, people still need to remember about flea and tick prevention. Yeah, that's a good point, Ryan. The fleas and ticks are a year-round problem, particularly ticks in our area. A lot of people don't realize that Northeast Pennsylvania has uh, one of the highest rates of Lyme disease in the nation, and uh, we need to protect our pets, and there's, and there's excellent products, prescription products to use. All right, for other tips when it comes to National Pet Dental Health Month, including a step-by-step -step video on how to brush Fido's teeth, head to WNAP.com. You'll find a link under websites mentioned. I'm Ryan Leckie, Newswatch 16, reporting from Lackawanna County.